All right, guys, here we are with a sponsored deck from Firestorm. So we've got Jackson, Rifle Missile, Pitbull Shatterer, Talon, Borker. So at first glance, um, a lot of these units are cheap and effic uh, like efficient. So I've got the Pitbull and the Talon and the Missiles and the Rifles. They're very cheap and efficient, but they're not very powerful. Um, the Shatterer is an odd choice in this deck. Basically, the Borker is going to be our heavy-duty anti-infantry and anti-vehicle. I would say the Borker is really the core of this deck. But then we don't really have great anti-air to support it. Like, we don't have a Hammerhead or a Slingshot to prevent enemy air units from taking it down. Um, I really like Hammerhead with Borker, to be honest. And then it's really hard not to bomb your own Shatterers. Like, Shatterers are a very defensive unit. You don't want to be... You want to be moving... You don't want to move it around a lot. Um, and then, obviously, like I said, we don't have the, the air support for this. We don't have, like... If someone makes a tank, I basically have to make a Borker to fight it. But I'm not sure... Which, I guess I have to go air early, but then I don't really know what my War Factory is for. Um, and as you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of the Shatterer. That's my initial take on the deck, but obviously we'll play 10 games of it, see how it goes, and then I'll uh, do a little talk through at the end. We're on Battlefield, which is going to be very good for the Borker and pretty good for the Shatterer. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, so our first game we're up against Nod. I'm going to open Rifles, make sure I'm not getting rushed. It's unlikely I get rushed on Battlefield, but you never know. Some people might think you're going blind double harvester and therefore rush you. Alright, so he's gone harvester lasers. Fine, we'll harass these lasers. We'll get another rifle because he opened barracks. And we'll stand on defense here, so we'll win this militant versus rifle fight. I'm gonna default to charging the missile. Ooh, interesting. So he's gone very early chems. Uh, normally I'd go air, but I think we're gonna use the shatterer since we have it. Since he's committed so heavily to barracks here, I think we might as well use the Shatterer since it's in the deck. Alright, we'll kill these guys. And then we'll move forward, see what he follows up with. Pikes, so we need some missiles. This right here, you'll see the, the downside of the Shatterer. It's not really great at moving around. So, like this thing cost 50, his bikes cost 30. If I can take out these chems, it's a decent trade for me. Alright, cool. So that didn't go too bad. But now my Shatter is probably going to die. Yeah, it's actually still alive. Well, it's going to die to these bikes, but that's okay. It bought us quite a lot of time. We'll get this up here, and then we have enough money to go to third, uh, third, third building. Get the Talon, block these militants. Alright, nice. That went pretty well. Um, Shatter did okay. Like, it took out the uh, took out the chems, which is what I wanted it to do. So no, no problem there. And we'll just make this missile wall. Spend our talent. Now if we see chems, we can just go Borker. Yeah, there they are. The thing about Borker decks is you kind of just want to use Borker to kill everything a lot of the time. Like, you can even go double half Borker. I'm not going to do it in this game because my opponent has not done anything that makes me feel like I need to. Um, Alright, let's take that out with the talent. So normally, what I was going to try to say is normally you want to be making a lot of Borkers in a Borker deck because that's like your primary win condition. So normally you would play a lot of cheap units to go alongside it. Obviously these units are all pretty cheap, um, so maybe that's the idea. I just don't know exactly what the Shatter is for. I guess it's just to give you some slightly cheaper anti-infantry in the early game. To allow you to take out things like chems. Because obviously if I was playing like a Rhino or something, it would be very easy for him to stop it. Uh, anyway, I should probably focus on the game a little bit more. So Missiles and Pitbull, I'm going to get a single Borker to follow up here. Let's just boost this over here. I don't know if it's going to get there in time. Yeah, just in time. Alright, that should flip us and we win. Alright, cool. Nice. Um, so yeah, I was distracted by talking a little bit there. Uh, but yeah, basically this I assume is just so that you don't lose to things like Chem in the early game. Because um, Talon is not going to cut it, basically. Talon doesn't do enough to fight something like a Chem Warrior. Alright, we're up against Nod again, so I'm going to scout first again. Wheel, sorry, right, we'll back up. We'll get a single missile trooper and see if he goes double wheel. If he goes double wheel, we'll probably go double missiles. We'll have to wait and see. Yep. Back up. Ah, no. Mistlicks. Mistlicks. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, I just threw away a missile trooper. It feels bad. Normally, I'd be able to go in 2v2, but it's a lot harder with half a squad here. I think we'll still be okay. Oh, Fnatics as well. Alright. So, against Fnatics, I think I'm just going to save up for an Orca Bomber. 
I don't think Shatter is going to be a good idea because if he has Fnatic, he probably has like tanks and um, tanks or like but even even just boosted bikes are going to be a problem. Well, I don't know if we're going to get the Orca Bomber in time. Yeah, it's not looking great. And if he has a uh, if he has a um, health tank, then we're in a lot of trouble. Alright, we're gonna go and bomb these guys. Might be just in time, yeah, just in time. Nice, we buy ourselves a few seconds here. Get a Talon, follow up with some missiles. We should be able to get this missile, actually. I don't know where his new units are. Um, yeah. Don't know why it took him so long to respond with more units. Uh, we shouldn't have won that missile, really. He should have had way more units coming in. Like, he could have sent more bikes whilst the Balker was reloading, and they would have easily taken care of it. Maybe he felt like he had to go into Banshee, but obviously that he didn't have to. That was, that was a big misplay by our opponent. And we'll hide all of our air units behind our missile troopers. Go bomb these bikes. Mathematics. Alright, cool. Went pretty well. Now we've got a lot of money, we can just start making more Orca Bombers. It might be double harvester, I'm not sure. We should probably go check. Oh, single. Interesting. So, Pitbull. Hide these two Orca Bombers behind my anti air. I'm gonna boost the Pitbull so it wins. And I'll send an Orca Bomber to fight anything, any reinforcements that might be coming. Yeah, there's some bikes. Get those out. Get the missiles onto this pad, and then we can send another Orca Bomber to just kill reinforcements and we should win easily. Orca Bomber is an insane unit, but it's so strong. Alright, that's easy enough. We shouldn't have got that first missile, though. He, he definitely missed Blake to let us get that. Alright, we're up against GDI, so I can go, um... Building online. Harvester first. Unit He's got missiles, that's great for us. We'll get a second rifle from them. Whoops. We're gonna default to charging the pads. Oh, shot troopers, better look out. So I'll go for a third rifleman. We'll obviously set up defensive concave. I don't know why he went for a second missile there, Building instead of a shock trooper. Alright, so he's using the turret to push in, that's fine, I'll back out and we'll get Shatterer. He's got triple infantry, so Shatterer kills everything he has right now. He'll obviously kill his missiles. Okay, this guy's micro is... he's a little bit to be questioned, I think. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Shatterer base rush. Because Shatterer base rush is truly one of the most glorious ways to win a game of rivals. Alright, here we go. Shatterer base rush time. Alright, unfortunately, the Orca is gonna stop us from doing a Shatterer base rush, so we're gonna have to do something else. That's a shame. Grab a Talon to kill this Orca. Uh, they'll let the Shatterer kill the turret because it has okay base damage. That's a structure, obviously. And then it'll kill the shocks as well. And then we'll make an Orca Bomber because he's going to have tech soon and I want to have an uh, Orca Bomber ready for it. Away from the Orca. We lose the Shatterer. Feels good, man. I don't want to drop the bombs um, until his tech unit arrives, really. I think he's going for my Harvester when the game's about to end. Yeah. Alright. Here, here, oh, here you go, man. You have it. <laughs> What's he doing? What is, what is that game? Alright, well, there you go, guys. You are victorious. Okay, we'll go rifle first, because we're against Nod. Harvester He's up to double harvester blind. Okay, we'll try and block. We might be close Unit enough. Ready. Be close, and we get it. Nice. Unit ready. Reporting. A little bit dancing Rifle back and forth. Blocking. Unit ready. Obviously charge as well. Oh, oh, he's evaded us. Go, rifles, go! Ah, he got there. All right, fair enough. 
Venom opening. Uh, we have Pitbull, right? Yeah, we have Pitbull. Let's go Pitbull. Should've gone Pitbull, could've gone Talon. Both are reasonable. I think I should've gone Talon in retrospect. Because if he has a Shade or a Laser Drone, Talon will be good versus those. Whereas... Oh, he's Banshee. I don't care about Banshee. Let's make some missiles for that. Oh, he boosts it as well. That's not a very good boost. Alright, so we'll just run away and get some pot shots with Raider. This in here. Alright, that was an easy missile. Should be able to kill this Banshee whilst running away. I don't know. Venom Goss. Never mind. Obviously, need to keep the missile charging. I'm gonna let him kill some rifles because I don't need them anymore. He doesn't want to kill them. Alright. Well, I'll send him forwards and see if he wants to kill them. That's his temple. Plane tank. Short. You can kill both my rifles. I don't care about them. And then I'll orca bomber to kill the, uh, kill the flame tank. They boosted flame tank. Okay. This man means this man means business. Okay. And flame tank down. Got my all uh, the people at the same time. Sad. And then we win. Basilisk. Okay. Well, that can't kill my orca bomber. Great choice, my dude. Great choice. Objective complete. Three, two, one. Once again, rifles versus Nod. Three he has. Nothing. Harvester okay, Harvester. Ready. If he does double, he does. Can't block this one because he's positioned the Harvester better. Uh, I'm going to go for a second he's rifle ready. just to uh, just to charge the pads. Alright, so he's got rifles as well, but we already have rifle to defend, so we're gonna keep the charge going. I'll make one more rifle, then I'll, I'll stop in case I need to make like an anti-air unit. Alright, he's got double rifle, that's fine, we've already got our two rifles set up. He's walking into us, so we'll get defender's advantage. Take out both his rifles easily, and a chem buggy. Uh, I've forgotten what's in this. I think it's, a, oh, it's an orca bomber, okay, we can't afford to save for orca bomber, so we'll go pitbull. This is actually a little bit annoying, this, this chemical buggy is gonna be pretty difficult to deal with. Yeah. I'm gonna actually boost to take it out quicker. Then we'll go to Talon to get on this top pad. Find a tank? That's not good. That's very bad in fact. We might lose this missile here. That we're probably going to. And then he's double harvested. That's very bad. Alright, yeah, this is not good. Very bad start. Kind of like, our deck is pretty weak to tank, honestly. Like, we don't really have anything. We have to use Orca Bomber to kill tanks, which is pretty bad. He also has Phantom. So, this is looking pretty bad. Um, the matchup looks pretty terrible for me. He also has Double Harvester, so he's going to have some kind of tech. And our answer to Pitbull... Our answer to, we kind of just have to Borka Spam, I think, and I hope that's good. So I might even Double Harvester here. Yeah, we're going to make another Harvester. We probably have to balk a spam to stand a chance in this game. Oop, didn't let's do that. I think we're just dead, to be honest. This is a... I mean, this this, this is, like, kind of showing the weaknesses of the deck, I think. Like, you need you need to use... You don't have that strong anti-air unit to control the skies. And you have to use Orca Bomber to fight anything bigger than... Like, you can see, like, how... I can't even catch a tank with missiles. You can just run circles around them, because they're so slow. And an Avatar. Alright. Oh, well, we have to balk that to death somehow. And then he has so many Harvester Bounties that he's going to be able to make a ton more Avatars as well. Yeah, this is this is not a great deck. This is kind of this is kind of the problem. Like I can't fight tanks except with Walker Bombers. I have this useless Shatterer. I have no outs to tech. <laughs> yeah. Not great. Yeah, I mean, this game's over. There's nothing I can do. Mission failed. Three, two, one. New okay, we've got rifles for scout. Riflemen ready to move out. Harvester. Harvester ready. Wait and see what opponent's up to. 
And I'm opening. Okay, so we have to back up and go Pitbull or Talon. I think I'm going to go Talon. Like I said last time. Building online. Unit ready. This is the rifleman awaiting orders. Taking them down. This is going to be good. This I think is Talon is probably a better good. opening against this. Venom than we Pitbull. Got this. We got this. We're on the marching orders received. Weapon. Oh. You got it. Looks like he's gone double harvester because he hasn't built a unit in forever. Reporting. Yep, obviously. Uh, there's a Venom. Oh, so I found him. It's not a problem, we'll just make another Talon. We'll get on the pads easily. Oh, this is actually not good. Oh, move down. Ah, rip. This is kind of what I was saying before about how the deck hasn't got the strong anti-air. So whilst it has multiple anti-air units, none of them are actually very strong. It's just Pistol and Talon. So if your opponent has a strong anti-air unit like a Hammerhead or a Phantom, they're going to take down your air. And that means you cannot win with uh, Orca Bombers, which is kind of your primary win condition. An obelisk. Okay, then. I guess I lose both my pit bulls for that. Pretty expensive way to kill two pit bulls. Probably gonna have a pretty hard time taking out his tech when it comes out because the phantom will protect it. We don't have a, a way to take out phantoms really. Artillery. Okay, well, we'll definitely make all the bomb out. Well, it looks like we might be able to kill it with our two pit bulls. Oh, not quite. And cyborgs. Yeah, cyborgs we're going to really struggle with. We don't really have an out. Ah, uh, we have Shatter actually. Shatter can kill cyborgs. Another obelisk, okay. Be aggressive. I guess we'll get a shatter as we kill these cyborgs. Now this phantom is gone, we can make another rocket bomber. Yep, there's the artillery, that's what I was expecting. The shatter did not do great against the cyborgs. Alright, well, somehow that guy has uh, managed to throw the game pretty easily, but there you go. Enemy base destroyed. Three, two, one. New objective. Okay, so against GDR we can harvest first pretty easily. Unit ready. I'm on it. Unit ready. Unit ready. Pushing orders received. Infantry ready. You rifleman ready. Rifleman, unit ready. Reporting. Pretty happy to just keep charging. I think that's fine by me. Building online. On my way. There's shocks. Infantry We've already gone Talon though. Rifleman Probably would have gone Shatter if I'd known they were gonna be shocks. He's walking into my defensive here, which is pretty bad. It'd be pretty easy to get on both these pads. To take the missile. Yeah. That was a pretty bad play by him to move up like that. There's a pit bull, we'll back up. Probably gonna need like an orca bomber to deal with the pit bull. We could use our own pit bull, but that's about it. Like again, raider units, you can't really catch them with missiles, so missiles are not really a good answer to raider units. I bombed my own rifle down purpose and just surrendered the kit. Mission accomplished. One. New objective received. Building online. Unit ready. Ready for action. Infantry. Let's gun them down. Move out. Unit ready. So we're getting jump jet rust for some reason. This is why you can go harvester first against GDI because even jump jet like jump jet's probably their best rush unit and it's just not a threat at all. Uh, there's no there's no GDI rush that beats rifles and missiles. GDI rushes are just really bad. Or oh, shocks as well. I guess we'll just go shatter. 
Alright, Shatter is so slow. <laughs> Oh, it's such a bad unit. Alright, he's gone air. We're gonna wait and see what he does. I don't know if I want to respond with Pitbull or Talon yet until I know what his unit's gonna be. Walker, okay. alright, so Talon is. Run the chatter away. I'm gonna boost this as well. Yeah, I thought he would just chase past the Talon. But boosting, we might have to save our chatter. Okay. I mean, yeah, I don't know what on earth this guy is doing. Looks like it's going to be an extremely easy win. I mean, it's just spamming talons now. Let's make some hit balls. Gotta let these rifles die, they've not looked particularly useful in this game. Grab another talon. Lost. Looks like he's gonna bomb my now. My shatter, I don't really care about that. Okay, there's a Wolverine. Uh, we'll just make a Orca Bomber, although the Pitbulls can handle it to be honest. I'm gonna grab another talent for this Orca and that should be game. Okay then. You are victorious. Three, two, one. New objective. All right, rifles against the Nord player. Harvester ready. The harvester. One half at the moment, not doing anything else. Just gonna make another rifleman. Just on Venom. All right. Well, rip second rifleman. We'll go Talon as soon as we can afford it. I don't know where this Venom is going. Going straight to my harvesters. He's gonna Venom rip my harvester. Doesn't make any sense, but okay. All right. We'll use a Talon to defend. Here comes a Banshee. Also pretty bad against Talon. Same target, get a second talent on it. Alright, trade 30 to 60. I'm okay with that. And I killed a Venom for free. Keep making talents, I guess. Don't let these rifles die. Oh. Spikes. That's annoying. Shouldn't be able to get on this top pad, so we should take this missile pretty easily. Okay, relax, had to sneeze. Okay, we've got a serious hard on for this harvester. Found some pit bulls. Pit bulls been pretty good against everything he's made. Oh, there's some flamers. Alright. The chopper, I guess. I don't care about the single flamer. I don't know. I don't even know where it's going. Just make an orca bomber. Get this. I don't know where his venom's going. Is he going for my harvester with his venom as the missile's about to fire? Okay. Great play. Big fan. Alright then. Could have sent the venom to the top pad, I guess, but no, it's fine. Enemy base destroyed. Three. Alright. We're gonna go rifles. New objective received. Then harvester. We've got this. Let's gun him down. We've got this. I can rifle me here. I'm on it. Reporting. Infant move out. Rifleman, rifleman await reporting. Infantry ready. Rifle you, rifleman awaiting orders. Move. Let's gun him down. We 
Venom, uh, we're going to Talon. Fanatics, draw. Double team them with the rifles. Plus, still got the bikes. Uh, rifle at Talon, sorry. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. Easy missile. Gotta make sure he doesn't double harvest her. There's bikes. Uh, so I'm just going to Orca Bomber, I think, rather than opening my other building. See if we can catch this as well. Oh, not that point. That's second half. Bit late, to be honest. I mean, the missile's half charged. He's only just started harvesting the second harvester. I'll just wait and see what he makes before I decide what to do. Definitely bomb these. Uh, it kind of looks like the game is going to end. Delta, all right. Uh, I guess we'll make some missiles and bring them up. I'll boost this Forker. Now the stealth tank is uh, unloaded. I'll get a fresh Forker bomber and send it top. All right, I should stay. Okay, that was easy. Objective complete. Okay, so we've got nine wins. Um, I think the deck is like a little bit weak in certain key areas. Um, I feel like the things I said at the start were were true throughout throughout the thing. Um, the problem was that the Orca Bomber is kind of our heavy anti-infantry and our heavy anti-ground. And then we just have nothing else going on that does anything similar. Um, like, we have no other heavy anti-vehicle. We have a heavy anti-infantry in the Shatterer. But that's not that important because infantry is, you know, not... You don't really need a heavy anti-infantry beyond the Orca Bomber. You don't need two of them. And the Orca Bomber covers that job. We didn't have a strong anti-air unit to support the Orca Bomber, so Phantoms gave us a hard time. And the biggest problem was we're just super weak to tanks. Like, tanks are really fast, so you can't catch them with missiles. And the only thing we had that could fight them ever was an Orca Bomber. Um, so that was a really big issue. So, if you're going to play an Orca Bomber deck, I really prefer to be, like, a Hammerhead Orca Bomber. And then your plan is way more all-in on this Orca Bomber plan. And then I really like the Rifle and Missile as your cheap early game. And then you have, um, like... Power, uh, another powerful anti-vehicle unit to defend the Orca Bomber or something like, you know, a Predator or an MLRS, something like this. This is what I would prefer, prefer something like this as an Orca Bomber deck. I also think that Liang is so much better than every GDI commander right now that there's almost no reason to ever play anything else. So yeah, I would just play Liang. But yeah, thank you to Firestorm for sponsoring this one and uh, that's my take on the deck. If you're gonna play a Shatterer deck, I also think it should be more of a fortressy style deck, so like with an MLRS. Yeah, that's my take on that deck. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you at the next one.